Hi, my name is Dr. Janet and this is Lifestyle by Janet. In today's video, I'll be talking about some myths surrounding the coronavirus and they'll basically give you the facts. So the first myth is face masks protect you from the virus. Now, I know a lot of you are going to try to come for me, but just listen to what I have to say. That is a myth because the mask is meant to protect other people from the wearer of the mask and not the other way around. It's not meant to protect the person wearing the mask from other people. No, the face mask is basically ineffective for the average person because only the infected people or those caring directly for the infected people need to wear the mask. For example, relatives of people um, that have the virus, you're living in the same house as the person. If the person that has the virus then wears the mask in order to transmit the virus to the healthy person. As I mentioned in my earlier video, if you haven't seen um, this video, I think I'll leave the link somewhere. The CDC updated their guidelines such that they, they're advising people to stop wearing the medical face masks. They tell you to wear cloth face coverings because right now people have gone so crazy with the idea of face masks that they think they think just wearing the face mask is going to protect them from the virus. But that is not the case. I've seen I've seen um, Uber drivers, taxi drivers wearing face masks. Yeah, they touch their face. They touch the money. They, I mean, wearing a face mask alone would not protect you from the virus it's, it's not even the main thing the main thing is meant to be hand washing so you're thinking that so far as you're wearing a face mask you're good to go that is so wrong and i've seen several people wear the mask wrongly some even wear the mask they they pull it down to their jaw they do whatever want they want to do um, go about their day touch everything they want to touch and come back and pull the same thing up some wear the mask keep it somewhere in the car or keep it somewhere in their office and then they do whatever they want to do they come back they wear some people wear one mask for one week how how like what what are you trying to achieve so please the face mask alone does not protect you from the virus in fact i'm encouraging the public if you want to wear a mask please wear the cloth face coverings you can tie a handkerchief you can tie a scarf you can use the homemade mask leave the medical masks for the healthcare workers i mean you don't want to have a situation where they're having in the u.s that the, there's a shortage of medical masks please leave the medical masks for the healthcare workers so the second myth is that washing your hand with alcohol like alcoholic drinks can kill the virus wrong wrong <laughs> so wrong some people even go as far as thinking that drinking alcohol can kill the virus i mean how <laughs> how 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 does that happen so please stop wasting alcoholic drinks i mean when everything is over you can go to town with your alcoholic drinks have fun with it but for now please leave those drinks alone unless you're 100 sure that the drink you're using to wash your hands has at least 60 percent alcohol then fine why not but for now please stick to alcohol hand rubs stick to hand sanitizers stick to washing your hands with soap and water so the third myth is that only old people or only white people in quotes that's the caucasians can be affected by coronavirus and then therefore get the covid 19 disease huh where do i start with this one it is not true i mean it is so not true. I mean, I've heard this a couple of times. Before the first case of coronavirus was reported here in Nigeria, I was in my salon and then my hairdresser and some other people were having a conversation. I just basically listened in and they were saying, ah, I know that this uh, corona, you know, if it affect black people, our skin, it tick, where, where, this one, it go burn, now it go clear, I'm come up. <laughs> God. I was just looking at them like, um, okay, I mean, when I hear things like that, I don't bother arguing because where do you want to start from? Where do you want to start from for your argument? Just, I, I didn't really know where to start. I just basically listened to all they had to say. And, and the truth is that till date, some people believe that this coronavirus is not in Nigeria. Like, people truly believe it, that this coronavirus thing is being made up. I mean, they believe that it's just a ploy to something, something. So, no. Why? Why? They believe it's, it's in other countries. They believe it's in China. They believe it's in the US. They believe it's in France. It's in Germany. But they don't believe it's in Nigeria. Why? They feel it's only white people that can be affected. On the other hand, some people believe that it's only old people that can get They feel, ah, me, me when they're young like this. Ah, how would I be? Now only 44. No. <laughs> no. It doesn't work that way. 
yes the elderly people are more prone to having complications of the disease because they are likely to have comorbidities comorbidities meaning things like hypertension things like diabetes things like a heart condition things like cancer they are more likely to have complications because they already have this underlying disease young people have less of this complication so they tend to have faster recovery rates so don't just think that only old people can get it the young people can get it too in fact there are cases of children get it. some people even believe that children cannot get it there are cases of children getting it yeah so basically these underlying conditions kind of already weakens their immune system so they are more susceptible to having a poor prognosis from this condition another thing i think is worth mentioning here it's not a myth this is just uh, on the side it's called psychoimmunology so it's a proven fact that fear weakens the immune system i'm going to put an article in the description box um so if you want to read up on it you can read up on it fear weakens your immune system yes fear is in your mind and your immune system is physical but there's a connection fear weakens your immune system so try to avoid news or try to avoid things out there that are going to put more fear in you find things that um make you happy that make you comfortable make you more relaxed if you have to watch a movie if you have to read a book if you have to pray do anything you can do to take that fear out of your mind because so much fear can weaken your immune system and then leave you susceptible to getting this disease so the fourth myth is that covid19 or the coronavirus the new coronavirus has become more deadly since it was first discovered this is very false in fact it was categorized by the who as a pandemic because they are trying to acknowledge the fact that it has spread geographically so the fact that it had left china and then it had spread to other countries other continents i mean it had become a public health concern in places that are really far from where it originated from so that that is why it was declared a pandemic and then the cases were becoming more overwhelming not that the disease is dead but because of the way it spreads that's from person to person through air droplets it's easy for anybody out there to get it so the fifth myth is avoiding cold foods avoiding ice cream cold drinks and all that can help um, prevent getting this virus or getting the disease no as a matter of fact i have a tub of ice cream in my freezer hold on let me get it and then show you that <laughs> Avoiding ice cream does not prevent anything. If you have ice cream, take your ice cream as much as you can. If you have cold drinks, enjoy yourself. Some people are stressing themselves, killing themselves by taking hot water, drinking tea all the time. Why? 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 You're perfectly healthy. There's, there's nothing wrong with you. And then you're drinking hot water morning, afternoon, and night. How bad? They swear for you. No, please. If you're perfectly healthy at home, enjoy. I mean, this is the time to enjoy everything you have in your house. Enjoy your cold drinks. Enjoy your ice cream. Okay. So the sixth myth is that COVID nineteen is a death sentence. Huh. This is a lie from the pit of hell. This is wrong information at all levels. It is not a death sentence. As a matter of fact, majority of people who get infected recover fully. So I. I I, can't, I, I don't understand why some people believe that once someone is infected, automatically this person is going to die. No, a thousand times no. That is so not true. And then some people also believe that getting infected means you're going to be infected for life. No, it's not, it's not, it's not like hepatitis B or like hepatitis C. No, once you get infected and you fully recover, that is it. The virus is gone. For the period where you fully recovered and you're tested negative the virus is totally gone from you i mean you're 100 percent fine so please get that thought out of your mind covid19 is not a death sentence and then once you get infected and you recover you are fine okay okay darling so the seventh myth is that wearing gloves out in public can help prevent infection this is <sighs> relax here in Nigeria, the lockdown announcement was made on a Sunday evening. Yes. So on Monday, um, I went out for some shopping. And then, obviously, there were queues and queues, but that was not even the problem. The, the, what concerned me was the fact that several people were wearing gloves. I mean, they left their house wearing gloves. They drove their car wearing gloves. They touched the key. They touched handles. They did everything wearing gloves. Then they get into the supermarket. And the same, I mean... <laughs> They're wearing gloves to prevent the infection, right? 
but they've used this same pair of gloves to do every single thing. In fact, they get to the entrance of the mall or the supermarket, they don't bother sanitizing their hands because they think they are protected by wearing gloves. And they wear the same gloves to touch every single thing they, every single thing they see in the supermarket, they touch the biscuits, they touch the, the cakes, they touch the, the yogurt, they touch... How? How is that even logical? I mean, how is that logical? First of all, these gloves can obviously pick up the infection. And that's why you're told to wash your hands. Now, these people are wearing gloves thinking that, yay, I, I'm, I'm up there. And these, these people are just mere mortals. Me, I'm up here wearing gloves, so nothing can touch me. They don't bother washing their hands. They don't bother sanitizing their hands. They just go on from morning to evening wearing the same set of gloves until they get back home and then they take it off. Sister, brother, how are you helping the economy? How? Eh? These gloves can still pick up infections and that is why you are told to sanitize your hand every time, wash your hands every time. I mean, the person that is not wearing the gloves is going to be more conscious of sanitizing his or her hands, going to be more conscious of washing their hands at all times. But you are wearing gloves so you think that ah, me are protected so all the some people are saying is yeah, well, no, sister, brother, please, please, stop wearing those gloves, please, okay? <laughs> In fact, there was one I saw and I just couldn't control my laughter. I just burst out laughing because it was hilarious. So this guy was wearing not even latex gloves, not even those medical gloves. He was wearing heavy duty gloves. You see those black gloves that um, the handymen wear? Oh no, not handymen. Those black gloves that, black thick gloves that people wear when they're trying to take out trash or wash dishes, those kind of utility gloves. So this guy was wearing utility gloves and he came to the supermarket to get something and as he stepped into the store you know i think he came from somewhere that was really really hot he was wearing the gloves okay he used the gloves to wipe off the sweat from his face and then he rubbed it on his pants <laughs> like oh god what is the point of wearing the gloves what is the point in fact if he had even just used his bare hands to touch his face so have been better because at the entrance of the supermarket he must have sanitized his hands before even touching his face but he, he walked into the supermarket without sanitizing his hands thinking that he was well protected wearing this heavy duty gloves and then he touched his he wiped the sweat from his face see so, yeah, if, if i'm talking about this thing i'm going to spend like the whole day so let's just leave it at that please stop wearing gloves out in public in fact people that are wearing the latex gloves you're shortening the ration for the doctors and the nurses and the lab scientists you're shortening their ration Leave these gloves alone. Wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer. That's all. So the eighth and I think last myth I have to bust is that drinking lots of water helps to flush out the virus. Wrong. Wrong. Of course, drinking lots of water is healthy on so many levels. It is healthy to help you stay hydrated. I mean, it's healthy on so many levels but not to flush out the coronavirus, auntie. Not to flush out the coronavirus, uncle. Drink lots of water, but don't have it at the back of your head that I'm drinking all this water, therefore I can go about, corona no go touch me. <laughs> hey, please, I'm an advocate for taking lots of water, but not with the thought that you're trying to flush out coronavirus from your system. So I think with these few points of mine, I've been able to convince you and not confuse you that these are really myths and then I've given you the facts about COVID-19. If you want more, if you want to read more or you need more information about everything I just said, the links are going to be in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything from this video, kindly like this video and you can leave your comments or questions down in the comment section. I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible. All right. Bye for now.